as you may have seen some incredible uploads regarding flat earth experiments proofs people showing you what you are seeing with your own two eyes is a very different experience to what we have learned when we were either at school or what we are learning at the moment now the evidence for a flat earth is simply derived from many different facts of science and philosophy guys the simplest is by relying on one's own senses to discern the true nature of the flat world around us the world looks flat the waters are flat the bottoms of clouds are flat the movement of the sun the moon these are all simple examples of our own senses telling us that we do not live on a spherical heliocentric world system this is using what's called an empirical approach or an approach that relies on information from your senses alternatively when using Descartes method of Cartesian doubt to spectically view the world around us one quickly finds the notion of a flat world is burden proof that it is absolutely flat as a witch's now perhaps one of the best examples of a flat earth proof is the bedford level experiment now this was a simple experiment that's performed many times in recent times as well if you check out the latest bedford level experiment you will see on a six mile stretch of water that it simply proves that there is no curvature of the earth and i also want to mention something regarding religion now the flat earth notion is neither officially nor unofficially associated with any religion now throughout the ages various religious institutions have maybe championed a flat earth model for the world because we know it is flat but unfortunately it leaves us with this vestigial thought that the flat earth theory and religions are symbiotic now they are not even though many religions today both mainstream and otherwise still teach that the world is flat and believing in a flat earth isn't contingent upon believing in a deity or being part of any religion so what does our earth actually look like well as you can see the earth is in form of a disc with the north pole in the center and antarctica as a wall around the edge this is generally accepted as the azimuthal equidistant projection and circumnavigation is simply performed by moving in a great circle around the north pole simply using polaris now the earth is surrounded on all sides by the ice wall that holds the oceans back but the ice wall is what explorers have named antarctica now beyond the ice wall is still a topic of great interest to us so to our knowledge nobody has been past the ice wall and returned to actually tell us of their journey but what we do know is that it actually encircles the earth and it serves to hold in the oceans and helps us or protect us if you will from whatever lies beyond now day and night or day and night cycles are simply explained by the sun moving in a circle around the north pole when it's over your head it's day when it's not it's night the sun acts simply like a spotlight and shines downwards as it moves as you can see also it's how the seasons can work on the, the model as well and when the sun is further away from the north pole it's winter 
in the northern hemiplane, or the hemisphere, and summer in the south, as you can see for yourself. Now, a question we can also mention is, what does the azimuthal equidistant projection mean? Well, the azimuthal equidistant projection is an azimuthal map projection. It has the useful properties that all points on the map are proportionately correct distances from the center point, and that all points on the map are at the correct azimuth direction from the center point. So azimuth is the angle between the north vector and the perpendicular projection of the star down onto the horizon. Azimuth is usually measured in degrees and the concept of azimuth, remember, is used today in all navigation, astronomy, engineering, mapping, mining, artillery. An equidistant simply means the line joins together all points which are equidistant from the two axes. Simply means the azimuthal equidistant projection is exactly where we live. Remember guys, the azimuthal equidistant projection map is not just correct but it is scientifically and practically correct. And when you hear about people mentioning that the other countries and the continents on the globe model fits into it, it is stretched out into a flat map, that is a lie. It is simply not true. It is a completely different land layout. So when people tell you it is simply a flat map or the globe earth flattened out that is simply a lie it is not when you lay the two models in front of each other they simply do not fit the azimuthal equidistant projection remember is scientifically and practically correct used by everybody today see for yourself guys what do you think complete different land layout thanks for watching this upload as always if you're new tap that subscribe and let's get this message out there because the more people that wake up to the earth is actually flat the more of an army that we will become peace to everybody you take care and thanks again for watching